Hey, welcome to Paint or Paint. My name is Ross, and today we are drawing a barn. In this video, we'll use one of the simple or basic forms to draw the underlying structure of a building within our drawing. That simple form we'll use today is a box. All right, let's start drawing. First, draw a box. This will be the base for all the structures of our building. As we start to draw our box, we want to consider a couple of things. We want to decide where on the page we want the building to be, we need to also consider how big the building should be or what the scale of that building will be against the size of the paper in our drawing. And we need to choose the angle we want the building to be seen from in the scene. Once we know what we want to do, we can draw the box in the spot and at the scale that we want. We can also draw the box to be positioned in three-dimensional space to show the angle or view that the building will be seen from in our drawing. Next, we're going to draw a couple of guidelines to help us position some key parts of the structure. These guidelines will help keep the building looking symmetrical. Draw an X over the front side of the box. Draw each line of the X from one corner to the other corner. This X will help us find the center point of the front side of the box. That is, the center of this X is the center of that side of the box. However, be aware that this is the center of that side as we see it in perspective. That is to say, we're seeing the center of the side of that box as if we're seeing the box from a side angle. If we look closely, we can see that there is slightly more space between the center point and the front edge of that side compared to the center point and the back edge. We'll use this center point to help us position the top of the roof as well as use it to set up the two smaller structures on the side of the box. Once we have our X drawn, we can now draw a vertical line through the center of that X. We want to draw that line past the top of the box. This line points us to where the peak of the roof will be. Next, we can draw a line through the center point of that X, moving from front to back. The line should be roughly parallel to the top or the bottom of the box. Actually, it should be angled in a direction that is in between or an average of the two lines representing the top and the bottom. This line sets up the height for the two boxes that we'll use for our two side structures of our barn, which we can go ahead and draw now. As we draw these two boxes, we can place the top of each box at the guideline we just drew. All right, let's draw the front face of the box. We can draw the top edge of the box that butts up against our original box. Now we can draw the other edge of the top of the box and the edge representing the bottom of the side of the box. Finally, we finish drawing the box by drawing the top back edge and the back edge for the side of the box. All right, let's draw a roof. To start a roof, the first thing we'll do is draw a triangle where the peak of that triangle meets at the center line right above our square. Next, we'll draw the top edge of that roof moving from front to back with that line matching the perspective of our box. Finally, we can draw the back edge of our roof matching or mimicking the triangle shape that we see at the front. Here, I'm setting up a new guideline for the top edge of the roof on each side of the main structure. I thought we could place it three quarters of the way up the box. To do that, we can draw another X to find the center of the smaller area created by our two original guidelines. Okay, let's draw the roof for each side structure. All right, we've just completed the basic structure of our drawing, and now we're ready to work on some of the details. Before we do, it's a good idea to look over the drawing to make sure everything is as you like it. And if it is, we're ready to continue. If it is not, then we can make some adjustments now before moving forward. This just saves us time and energy as we are able to fix any issues that we see in the structure now before we've hung any of the details on that structure. As there are less elements at this stage of the drawing to correct than later on in our drawing. All right, so for the rest of this demo, we're just refining the look of our drawing by adding the elements onto the structure that make it look like the building that we want it to. In this case, we're gonna make it look like a barn. Here we can draw two rectangles to represent the front door of the barn and the small window just above it. Again, we wanna consider the perspective or the angle at which we see both the door and the window. Our first detail to add a bit of realism is to draw the eaves of the roof. As is common with most buildings with pitched roofs, the roof has a little bit of overhang past the walls. We do this by extending the lines for each roof just a little bit past the edge of each box. 
All right, now we can draw the decorative elements on the front door of our barn just to help sell to our audience what type of building this is. This X pattern on the door is one of the reasons I like having my beginning drawing students draw this type of barn. The pattern for the door trim easily demonstrates that the smallest details need to fit to the underlying structure of our original basic forms as well. Here we can loosen up the line work a bit to add a little character or individualization to our drawing. This makes it a particular or unique barn rather than just a drawing of a generic barn. All right, now we're adding a bit of trim to the edges of the roof. Again, this adds a little bit of realism to the building as the parts of each building have some level of thickness to them. In this case, no roof is paper thin. Adding a second line helps suggest some mass or thickness to the materials that the roof is made of. You might have noticed that I'm darking some of my lines right now. If you like, you can do this as well. We can illustrate which lines are the final lines of our drawing by darkening those lines. The contrast of those darker lines against the paper will attract more attention and our audience's focus will be drawn towards those lines. Or you can leave them light if you plan on shading the drawing later. This way the lines will disappear into the rendered drawing. Either way, it's a good idea to always draw light lines first. This allows us more control over the final look of our illustration. Here I'm adding a top structure to the roof. This is really something that I should have added earlier, I just forgot to, but I felt it's important to suggest the type of barn that I'm drawing, so I'm adding it now. Really, it's all the same steps that I went through earlier on, as you can see as I draw. All right, now we've drawn a barn, and if we want, we can start shading. I'm not going to demonstrate shading in this video as the focus is on drawing the underlying structure using basic forms, but you're more than welcome to shade your drawing if you want. If you decide to do this, here are some quick tips. First, organize your shading. I'm starting with the shadow side as I shade, and then I'm moving to the light side of the barn, and then finally I'm going to shade the roof. As we shade, we need to fill in the area with one consistent value or level of darkness. We don't want to leave any of the paper showing through as the value of the paper is inconsistent with the value of the shading, breaking the look of a shaded area. We can also pay attention to our mark making as we shade. If we want, we can move the pencil in one direction to create a directional pattern of line as I'm doing here. All right, just to wrap things up, in this exercise, we drew a building by first setting up the underlying structures using the basic or simple forms. The simple form that we used for this exercise was the box. We use that box to place the building on the page within our drawing or position the building within our composition. We also use the box to establish the proportions of the parts of the building. And we use that box to work out the perspective or the angle at which the building would be viewed from. All right, let's give it a try. First draw the barn as demonstrated, then draw your own variations of that barn. You can mix and match the sizes and shapes of the different parts of the barn using the box.